Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Sewell back again with a story about adoption. You know, families all look so different. Sometimes we have brothers and sisters from the same mom and dad, and sometimes we have brothers and sisters that have been adopted. Sometimes we are the only child, and we've been specially chosen for our forever home. I think you're going to love this story. It's titled Just Right Family, and it's an adoption story, beautifully written by Sylvia Lopez, and pictures are done by Sui Shen. Just Right Family, an adoption story. My family is Mama, Papa, and me, and it's just right. On Saturdays, Mama starts me off on the park swings. Feet back, Maylee, she calls out. Then up, up. <laughs> My toes reach for the sky. I'm flying. We feed the ducks. I like the ducks, but the big geese are scary. They won't hurt you, Papa says. I'm here. We pick out library books. We read them together. Mama, Papa, and me. Tell me my favorite story, I say every night. It's not in a book. Mama points to the big map on my wall to a place called China. We flew far across the sea to adopt you, she says. Why, I ask. We learned you needed a new home. Papa answers, so we asked to be your forever family. We looked in our hearts and saw you there. Mama says, you were just right. It's the best story, my story. One night, Mama says, we have a surprise. A puppy, I ask. No, someday a puppy, she says. This is better. A sister, Maylee, Papa says. We're going to adopt a baby. Our family's going to grow. Mama is wrong. A puppy would be better. The next morning at breakfast, I ask, Why do we need a baby? Our family is just right. Papa and I looked in our hearts, Mama says, and saw her there. Sometimes I wish Mama and Papa didn't do so much looking. Will the baby look like me or you, I ask. She won't look like any of us, Maylee, Mama answers. She'll be just right. Why doesn't she stay where she is? I ask Papa on the way to school. Sometimes babies need new homes, he says. We asked to be her forever family. Now Mama and I are double lucky. We'll have you and her. He smiles big and hugs me tight. I hug him back, but I don't smile much. Me and a puppy would have been lucky enough. How do you feel about being a big sister? My teacher asks. I don't know, I say. I've never been one. I think you'll be awesome, she says. You're very, very special. I'm glad she thinks I'm special. I smile just a little. Where's the baby now? I ask. In a place called Haiti, Mama says. On my map, Haiti looks far away. Papa and I need to go get her, Mama tells me. You're leaving me? I grumble. Only for a week, she says. 
Grandma will come stay with you. She has big plans. When Grandma calls, I sing her the new song I learned at school. She asks about the baby. She's coming, I guess, I say. I got new shoes. Oh, then we'll buy a dress to match, Grandma says. Got lots of great stuff planned for us to do, kiddo. <laughs> I smile a little bigger. Mama lets me pick a color for the baby's room. My room is blue, my favorite. I tell her the baby's room can be pink. Papa buys a map like mine and hangs it on the wall. He puts a shiny star sticker on Haiti, another on China, and then he puts one where our house is. What about my map? I ask. Papa opens his hand. Another sticker. We put a star on Haiti on my map, too. I walk around both rooms. Blue is still my favorite color, but I think pink is now my second favorite. Before they leave, Mama and Papa hold me tight. We'll be back before you know it, they say. I hug Mama hard. My shirt smells like her perfume the whole day. One afternoon, Grandma and I go see a movie. It's about a family. I think about Mama and Papa. I miss them a lot. Are they coming back today? I asked Grandma. <laughs> Not today, Maylie, but time will fly. You'll see, she says. The next day, I try on lots of dresses at the mall. Grandma buys me two. Oh, they both match your new shoes, she says. I see a tiny printed dress. It's pink, like the baby's room. Can we buy this one, too? I ask. For the baby? Grandma smiles. Sure. When are Mama and Papa coming home? I ask again. Be patient, she says. It's been almost a week. Then one morning she says, Let's go, Bailey. At the airport, Grandma pats my knee as we wait. Soon she says. Finally, I see Papa and Mama holding a baby. I'm so happy, Grandma whispers. She starts to cry. Sometimes Grandma's hard to figure out. Come meet Sophie, Maylie, Papa says. Sophie takes my finger and won't let go. Hi, Sophie, I tell her. I'm your sister. I'm going to help push you on the swings. I'm going to help keep the geese away. Do you like stories? <laughs> she gives me a tiny smile. I smile back big. <laughs> that night, we read library books together. Then I tell her a story. Her story. I point to the map to the star on the place called Haiti. He tell her how Mama and Papa flew over the sea to an island to adopt her. How we all looked in our hearts and saw her there. And how we knew she was just right. Like our family. Oh. Just Right Family, an adoption story, the end. Oh, I think that's so beautiful. I love that families come in all different shapes and sizes. And I love that in families that have adoption, that they are picked special, those children 
just right. He's looked in their hearts for them. Oh. Until we can be together again on campus. Goodbye, everybody. Adios, amigos.